Hey, what's up guys? Jimmy Cooper here with Hey Worship Leader. Is the Jet Micro the perfect companion to the HX Stomp? Stick around to find out. So I've had the Jet Micro for about a month and I love it. A few weeks ago I posted a video of me building this HX Stomp mini board. I'll post a link right here. And since then I've had the time to dive into the Jet Micro to see what it does for the Stomp and to see if I really like it. I've come up with five reasons that the Jet Micro is the perfect companion to the HX Stomp. First, the Micro was built specifically for the Stomp. The HX Stomp is a powerful machine, but on its own, the limitations of the Stomp can block creativity. The Jet Micro gets rid of all these barriers. Number two is the size. This pedal is very compact. If you're like me and you want a simple setup, this pedal is the way to go. But even on larger pedal boards, real estate is not something you want to give up. The third reason I like the Jet Micro is the price. Right now you can get it for just under $150 brand new. And I think if you get it now before the end of the year, 2019, depending on when you're watching this video, you can get an extra $20 off, which is a huge bonus. The fourth reason I like the Jet Micro and probably one of my favorite reasons is its ease of setup. I've been afraid of entering the MIDI world in the past and I've read comments and forums of people's the same hesitation that I had, but it literally took me less than a minute to set up the Jet Micro and begin playing. Although there are many other great MIDI controllers on the market, the Micro's ease of setup is a huge win. This pedal is pre-programmed to just pull it out of the box, set it up, and begin playing. You don't have to worry about being bogged down and trying to learn MIDI programming, you just plug in and play. And the fifth and final reason I love the Jet Micro is its ease of use. There were only three switches on the Micro, which I love, but the guys at Jet have crammed a lot into these three switches. Now that we've quickly covered the five reasons why I like the Jet Micro, let's see what the pedal can actually do. So this little pedal can do a lot. As you may know, the HX Stomp allows you to have six blocks that you can use for amps and cabs and different effects, but one of the main drawbacks of the Stomp is that it only gives you three switches. The Jet Micro gives you the other three switches so you can assign them to bypass the other three blocks. You can also assign these switches to toggle up and down effect parameters. So for example, if you really love cleaner amp sound, but then you want an overdrive amp sound, you can just assign one of these switches to toggle the drive section of the amp up and down. You can use the Jet Micro to scroll through presets, and I'll show you how to do that later. You can also toggle between snapshots. You can also utilize the built-in tuner and tap tempo function, as well as control the looper. There are a few switch assignments that are not customizable and are pre-programmed into the Micro. A short press on any of the single switches will toggle on and off an effect or the parameter of effect. A long press on each switch will toggle between snapshots one through three. A short press of A, B, or B and C switches will scroll through presets. If you hold down switches A, B, or B and C, you can activate fast scrolling to get through your presets more quickly. And then finally, if you hold down all three switches, you can toggle between the three different banks. The three different banks are notated by three different colors. The red bank allows you to assign switches to different blocks or effect parameters. The blue bank gives you access to the tap tempo and the tuner, while the green bank gives you control over the looper block. Quick note, you have to use one of the six blocks in the HX Stomp to use the looper function. So now let me hook up my guitar, I'll plug in my pedal board, and I'll show you exactly how I use the Jet Micro in a live setting. Let's go. Now to plug in the USB. Hopefully you can hear the signal. First thing I need to do is, is to tune. And so as I said before, I'm on the red bank now. I have it set up to toggle on different, different blocks. Right now I only have the middle one toggled to um, toggle on and off my specular reverb, which is in the effects loop. Right now I'm just gonna leave that on. But I need to tune and so I'm going to hold down all three and I'm on the blue mode, which allows me to hit A for tuner. It comes up, let's tune. C, the C switch also allows you to do a tap tempo. I'm gonna be playing the song Exalted Overall. I already have the BPM plugged in at 105, but if I were playing live, I could just tap in 
the tap tempo on the C switch and you hit the B switch to exit and it takes you right back to the red mode, which is how you play live if you're not using the looper. And right now we're not talking about the looper. I'm just gonna play through the song Exalted Overall and show you how I would use it. Here's my clean tone. Um, my reverb is coming from the specular reverb, completely dry. I think I have a, a room reverb on. Just sounds like that. But I'm going to be um, wanting a little more of a wet sound for this song. And so um, the cool thing is I like to use the stomp to feel most like a pedal board would where I'm just switching switches, but a lot of people like to use snapshot mode. And one of the benefits of using snapshot mode through the Jet Micro is that you don't have to enter snapshot mode on the HX Stomp itself. You can access snapshot mode through the Jet Micro and still have the ability to toggle on and off effects while in each snapshot. So what this does is it frees you up to, say you've set up your snapshots the way you want, but something changes and you don't like the way it sounds live, you can click, still be able to click on and off different overdrives within snapshot mode, which before you couldn't do that. The cool thing is to be precise with snapshots is if you're in the middle of a part and you're, you need the timing of switching from one snapshot to the next snapshot is really important. You can just hold down that switch while you're playing your part and it'll capture the next snapshot, but it won't go to it until you release. And so say I am in snapshot one, but I want to jump to snapshot three. So I will go ahead and hold down snapshot three, be playing. And I just wanna, I'm holding it down, I'm holding snapshot three down, but I haven't let go. And now I'll let go. So I'm going to be playing through Exalted Overall just to show you how I would switch through the different parts using the snapshots. Except I'm going to play it right. Here we go. So those are the different parts of Exalted Overall. Um, if I wanted to scroll up, I would just hit these two. I just held these two down to scroll back up. I have a song called How Can We Not Give Praise? And I'll show you a little bit of that. It's by Life Worship, but it goes like this. see how it would work to just switch through the different snapshots easily. But say I'm in snapshot three, but I'm like, oh, I don't like the way it sounds like, go ahead and toggle on and off within snapshot mode, because I'm not actually in snapshot mode, I'm just bringing up snapshots with the Jet Micro, I can still toggle on and off. Maybe I don't want the delay, but I still want that overdrive.
on the wrong notes. So now I want to show you the looper function. There are many different ways to use a looper, but I want to show you how I use it to make a pad sound. A lot of times worship leaders are leading by themselves and they like to have a pad behind them. First, let me show you the switches. Um, a, a short press on, on the A switch will start recording, and a long press on the A is the undo so that you can redo a feature. Uh, a short press on B stops the looper and a long press will enable the half speed feature, which is pretty cool. A short press on the C switch will play the loop and if you long press it, it'll play it only once. And so in order to create a good pad, I like to record a silent loop first. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this A switch. It is recording a silent loop. Um, the reason I do this is so that when I go to record over it, you won't necessarily hear an abrupt start and stop. Give it about 10 seconds. The longer the better, that way it's not as noticeable, but for these purposes, um, we'll do a short one. I'll hit C, that loop is playing. You don't hear anything right now because it's silent, but now we're going to record over it. I have a really, I have a reverb with a really long tail on it in the effects loop through the specular reverb. I'm going to hit A. Now we are recording again and I will start swelling. to use different voicings. Gives it more of a full sound. I'm gonna hit the C switch. It's just playing now, so I can play on top of it, but I wanna record another um, something on top. I like to add a little overdrive and um, record something with my finger pads up really high. Kind of gives it a shimmery feel. Let's try it. So now we've created a pad. I think I'm gonna make the pad a little bit louder, so I'm just gonna go on top of it.
looper function to create a pad underneath. The Jet Micro really helps uh, make it easy because I still have access to all my other switches. Couldn't ask for a better companion to the HX Stomp as far as the looper is concerned for sure. Well that wraps up today's video. Now I know I wasn't able to dive into every situation that you may discover when using the Micro with the Stomp, but I hope this video gives you a good glimpse of the power that this duo has when they are put together. The good thing about this little unit is that you can plug it in, take a few seconds to set it up, and then you're ready to play. It's really that easy. I'm really looking forward to playing with this more in the future. I have loved my Stomp and this Jet Micro has just really made me fall in love with it even more. I used to have a little two switch switcher for scrolling up and down presets and for the same size unit, this micro opens up all the possibilities that I didn't think were possible. I'm really glad I went this direction. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and feel free to share it with anyone who's looking to decide what they're going to do as far as MIDI and controlling the stomp if that's what they have. I will say the Jet Micro can control other MIDI pedals as well. I just didn't have any today to show you how to do that. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I make videos and resources to help worship leaders bring greater health to their worship ministries. If that's something you're interested in, please subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified of the latest content. You can also follow Hey Worship Leader on Facebook and Instagram and be on the lookout for new content in the future. That's all I got for now. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.